In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Wi-Fi Direct of your Epson EcoTank L4150, L3250 or L3150. This way, you'll be able to connect your smartphone or laptop directly to the network of your printer. So let's get started. First step, make sure that the printer is turned on. Then press and hold the Wi-Fi button and the iNetwork button, both of them for at the same time for about 4 seconds until you see the two lights on the left side blinking. Once you see them blinking, you can release those buttons. Then you just have to wait because those lights will flash and then they will stop doing that. They will just stay lighted. For step number two, make sure that there's some paper loaded inside of your printer. Then press and hold the iNetwork button for around 7 seconds. The printer will then start printing the status sheet that you need to find the password and the Wi-Fi direct name of your printer. On the first sheet of paper that got printed, you should find Wi-Fi direct about in the middle of the page. Then you should find SSID, which will give you the name of your printer and then password. Then you need to download the Epson Smart Panel app that you can find on the App Store or on the Play Store. If you're on PC, you need to go on the Epson website to download their software. Step number four, go on your Android or Apple device or PC and you need to go into the Wi-Fi settings where you can see all the networks around you and select Direct and the name of your printer. You should find the name on the sheet that just got printed. Then go ahead and type the password. Then open the app you just downloaded. On the first page, once you open the app, you should see a list with different printers or maybe it's just yours. Go ahead and tap on the name of your printer and you're done. Now you can use the Wi-Fi Direct to print with your smartphone or PC. If this video was useful, please take a moment and give a like and leave a comment down below. This is very important for me. And also subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.